What's good, team exclusive, and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today, we are back with a brand new episode of The Road to Glory. Now, a um, few things to go over first. First of all, from those packs we opened uh, in the last episode, the half price mega packs, we actually made about 30,000 coins profit, which you can see I spent 10,000 coins on another pack and it was a complete waste of money. But anyway, we did make, we did make about 30,000 coins profit, um, which is pretty good to be fair. Admittedly, we did get quite lucky getting that to, uh, what if Griffo. So, you know, it is what it is, but we, uh, yeah, we, we actually made some profit, which is not something you say very often when opening packs. Not something you say very often, I made profit opening FIFA packs. So crazy stuff. Um, we have a few packs in store. Obviously, I've got my Div Rivals rewards to open as well. We've got these uh, 81 plus and 82 rated plus. I, I don't see the point. They, they released them. Like, they were cheap. Yeah, they were like just minimum gold squats and all that. But like, they, they weren't repeatable. So it's like, what is what is the point? What is the point? I don't know. Anyway, EA doing EA things again. And I forgot what I was going to say, but with that said, also, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about the whole EA scandal with the icons. I didn't want to make a video about it because it's like, well, you know, pretty much everybody else and their mother is going to be talking about it. So what's the point? You know, what's the point? It's just going to get drowned out by somebody else's opinion that, you know, is, you know, is on there. So it is what it is. I just think it's really stupid. You know, EA set itself, uh, set this thing on themselves, really. It's their own fault for doing it. And the problem is, if they made these Pele's, Ronaldo's, Ronaldinho's, Cruyff's, whatever, whatever people are trying to get at, Hullets or stuff, you know, if they put them on the market, we've seen it before with like FIFA 14 with icons and stuff, where they um they just put them on the market. Why, why didn't they do that? Stock the market. People wouldn't have to go to other means to buy them. Problem solved, really. Or how about this, right? Release the friggin' SBCs. <laughs> Release the SBCs of these cards. And, and the funny thing is, you know, it was hard enough for me to try and actually get one of these prime Thierry Henry's. Now, I know he's not the most illustrious or high-end icon ever, but he's actually two million. What? Good lord, man. He's he's a bargain now. If you if you want to buy this card, buy it for two million. Uh, but anyway, yeah, when I was trying to buy this card literally none on the market and yeah i know i'm on pc and the market's slow or whatever but they're just like there's so little supply for these cards that people are going for whatever means to buy them so it's crazy and also if you do buy a hullet ronaldo for 1500 pounds or dollars or whatever then you are stupid really uh, just it's just facts of the the matter you are actually stupid in the brain um to pay over a grand for some FIFA cards that aren't even real and have no, as EA should normally call them, no monetary value, which apparently they do now, um, then, you know, you are sleeping. And also it lasts for like, what, a year, nine months, if that. I mean, most people stop playing after about three or six months. So, you know, you're, you're really just, you're, you're not doing yourself any favours. But that's kind of my brief... Uh, brief look on it and point I didn't I like I said I didn't want to make a video on it because one I didn't know if all those kind of screenshots that were coming out were actually real you know it's so hard to tell um and even though they look real doesn't mean they are so I didn't want to spout facts that aren't actually th uh, true but it does it seems like something that EA would do or something people would do from within EA who knows who cares at this point we actually get a boards out of a jumbo gold pack Brazil sent back Oh, it's not even Tiago Silva. It is uh, Diego Carlos. Still a very good card at this stage in FIFA. I mean, he's a bit slow. If you put a shadow on that card, or even a catalyst or something, he would. Uh, he's still very good. I mean, I'll take an 83, to be fair. I'll take an 83. Um, got some nice chemistry styles. That's pretty much that. I'm pretty sure he's untradeable. He is. Damn, that sucks. Pretty probably wouldn't have sold anyway. Wouldn't have sold. Anyway, what are we saying? Come on, EA Sports. What are we saying? Imagine, now we spoke spoke about all these icons, we actually pull an icon. I mean, chances are next to nil. Well, I, I mean, I was playing last night as well, um, just to try and get some better rewards, obviously get higher in the ranks and uh, all that stuff. And we actually, we bossed it. I'm not going to lie, we bossed it. Pretty much won every single game, every single game we played. Um, I actually didn't play that many um, because... 
just can't be bothered at the end of the day. I just can't be bothered. I know. Fever is one of those weird ones where it's like, I, I enjoy making content. Um, but the game is just, it's such a tyrant to play. I don't know. Just, it's so, it's so awful. Just so awful a lot of the time. But, uh, yeah. Hey, well, we got a walkout. Oh, it's a fake walkout. What was it in? Spanish. Right back. Oh, that sucks. It wasn't even carve how It is literally a fake walkout. Nobody cares about Azpilicueta. Anyway, we have got our two 81 rated player packs, which weren't repeatable. I mean, even if you get a walkout of these, it's like, well, still, what's the point? Boards. I mean, okay. That's not awful. Not awful. 85? Okay. I'll take it. And then 82, what are we saying? Guaranteed we get an 82. If we get better than 85, I'll be... I'll be shocked. So the 81 double... Ah, oh, I can't be fucking bothered. I can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. Now, of course, if you are new to the series, um, I probably should have showed this at the beginning, but uh, I show this every episode. This is our team looking very, very icon heavy. Uh, of course, we got to uh, um, check out of our prime, mid-prime icon player pick. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. I kind of just bought it, so whatever. Uh, we crafted um, 93 Icon Moments Carlos Poyo from the 82 and 83 Icon Swaps pack, which of course you haven't seen, haven't seen the video. Go check it out, kind of spoil the video now. Uh, we also packed um, Sergio Ramos out of a player pick. Also packed uh, Yeri Berechish. Um Crazy. He's a good card and hopefully gets an upgrade. Obviously, they played Atletico Madrid, which I was um, watching closely. And then, of course, Atletico Madrid scored at uh, or just before half time so fantastic ruin the upgrade thanks atletico madrid uh, we've also got uh, freeze kappa which he's not amazing but he is quite good and i really like him so he's played over 160 games mental mental and of course we packed paul pogba from our icon swaps one 83 plus pack crazy if you haven't seen the video <laughs> go check it out <laughs> Uh, support that one too. Uh, we've also got, of course, objectives. Hector Berin, because Arsenal fan. Um, crafted Icon Kaka as well. Played over 100 games. He's really good. Like, he's literally a second striker to Omri. Um, five star skills, four star weak foot. Like, you, you can't ask much more. He's just mental good. Of course, Dennis Bergkamp, Arsenal legend. Played 13 games. Now got three goals and two assists. Just, he doesn't do a whole lot. So, I'm not, I'm still undebated. Still, I might still get that Deco in the second batch and then just sell him on. But at this point, there's probably not a whole lot of point he's worth. Probably, probably a bit under 550 now. So uh, we packed... Uh, I'm not going to do it again, but we did pack uh, Diego Maradona in our first ever base icon pack. And he's played over 250 games, or two, over 260 now. Scored 200 goals, got 213 assists. It's just... He's just insanely good as well and then of course Thierry Henry which we as you can see bought for 2.5 million coins played 27 games got 46 goals and 10 assists just I love this card I love it and uh, I actually wonder if um, his prime icon moments is in or on the store because they actually changed his picture which I don't know why which I, I do know why because the first one if you searched prime Prime Icon Moments Thierry Henry on the market before the update, which it, um, if you're on console, it should still be unupdated. Uh, but for me on PC, it is updated. And they changed his picture because the other one was just showing a giant picture of his head. <laughs> and I th and they changed it. So I, I'm pretty sure there's something up with the picture. And I'm not sure why. Uh, but anyway, that's what his new picture looks like. And of course, they changed um, Zidane's as well. Uh, if I can spell it right, there we go. Zidane. So, and I'm fairly sure they changed a few others, but I don't know which ones. The two that I've noticed, they've changed Henri and Zidane. I was actually going to look if he was on the market, but uh, I wonder if Zidane is on the market. No. Well, that was probably pretty evident. Um, what about Thierry Henri? 94 rated. He is. Ah, oh, he's 9 million. Ah. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, for a plus one upgrade, he, he's got quite a heavy boost to his uh, to his card. I don't like how the uh, 
the picture kind of overlays all of his or a lot of his stats and his name it's a little bit of a critique that i don't like and i've said this before i'm really weird i, I go for cards that have a nice player image or dynamic image and if they don't then um i just won't buy them no matter how good they are so weird i know anyway let us go into some division rivals but yeah so there's the team um i showed my custom tactics in the last episode so if you want to find out what i do how i play in game then you can go check it out we also got the new kit as well looks very very nice very very nice and he left brilliant all right so first opponent today what we're saying jeez okay still got fern and mendy got mbappe baran we have ferdinand nice card nice card that all black should probably be getting an upgrade probably soon i guess i think atletico madrid have progressed haven't they pretty sure they have i'm not sure to be honest but uh yeah Oh, you're kidding, man. I read that so hard. This Martinez is actually doing me dirty. They actively avoid you, so, you, you know, you're better off just trying to tackle in the in defence. Not that it matters, really, apparently, so... It's all just going against me. It's all just going against me. Oh, you're kidding me. But I can't buy a win i wonder if ea is selling wins for like a hundred pounds because uh i would happily buy one right now don't need an icon or prime icon moments but i'll buy a win if you're selling it please ea sports please go on omri that is sensational play let's go sensational back and forth play and he's insta quit because he's a bitch. Also, I forgot to mention that uh, my Pepe now has an upgrade to 88. You do love to see it. Uh, you can't actually. There you go. There is his. Uh, there's his card. Looks actually really nice. To be fair, looks really nice. Shame I can't actually play him. Um, otherwise, I probably would. That is. Uh... That's a very good team. It's a very good team. Some really nice red picks as well. Got to say, you don't often see some uh, high end or, or higher rated. Um, red player picks, but you know, fair play. No idea how Diego Maradona's won that, but we take it. But look at that pass to Maradona. Not sure why he left the space for me, but Maradona, let's go. You love to see it. Again, I've no idea what he's doing with with his defenders. He like pulls one way off the pitch, or don't know. This guy's a this guy's an oddball. Go on, Henri, make that run. Bang. Outside the box as well. Pope just <laughs> flops on the floor. I think it's Pope, isn't it? Can't actually remember, but whoever it is, you ain't stopping that. And, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> All right. Bang. Straight up to Maradona. He's actually going to get there as well. Going to feed in Thierry Henri. Oh, I shouldn't have taken it first time, but I really wanted that. Oh, that sucks, man. Damn. You'd have thought of all people, Prime 93 Thierry Henry would have uh, been able to bang that, but it's a shame. What is that? No way. Oh, you're fucking kidding me, man. Why does the pass have to go astray? It's not where I aimed it at all. Holy fucking shit, man. Oh, feeding Henri. Let's go. I'm literally just using his tactic. And it's the tactic I've been trying to use, you know, and trying to implement. It's just basically not sprinting anywhere. He's doing it a lot. He's doing the whole not sprinting, but then like, you know, just going to the diagonal side of the box. Um, like everyone else does, pretty much. And just, um, oh, hold on. Oh, never mind. Yeah, just not sprinting and just trying to take it slow and just, you know, intricately pass when i dive in for a tackle which is you know it's a fair enough tactic but um you know you, if you're gonna do it at least expect someone else to do it against you i guess bang look at that pass to maradona straight on through uh, he just couldn't quite hold on to the ball unfortunately maradona in that situation just didn't have the strength to uh 
to deal with that. Come on, switch to Bellerin. Okay, yeah, cool. Good block. Can't feed into his pressure, man. That's all he's. You can just see when he switches to high pressure. It's mental. No, what is that? Oh my god. Henri with the weakest touch of a pass ever. Ah, uh, fuck. Bang! Let's go! You love to see it. Assist by Thierry Henri. Just uh, dodging the defender to get that pass across. It's a bit sweaty, but you know. People were uh, people would do it against me, so there's no remorse. Right there, man. I'm right there. Ah, oh, I'm right there. <laughs> but I couldn't. I, it wouldn't let me switch. It wouldn't let me switch, and now it's going to be game over. Cool. All because it wouldn't let me switch defenders. Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, I feel so bad. <laughs> I feel genuinely bad for that. That's horrendous. I'm sorry, that's that's horrendous. Nah, it just bobbles through the defender and Tiara Reed just steals it and gets a sick blow. Like, nah, I can't I can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. But there we are, so we end up actually winning that game. Somehow, two uh, two very late goals. Would you believe it? Like, what a crazy game. To be fair, though, what a crazy game for us to be like in the lead, and then he comes back with a few goals, and then you know he gets a late winner supposedly, and then we draw it back to five five, and then just steal with a sixth. Just mental. Yeah, absolutely no skill in that whatsoever. It's just just pure luck. So I do feel bad for that guy, and you know, uh, somewhat apologise for doing that but it's just the way the game goes sometimes it's the way the game goes it's happened to me numerous times so it's about time it happened to someone else i guess before we go actually i've just seen because it has just ticked over what are we okay it's half past six now but it's just ticked over six o'clock we have some new prime icon moments sbcs it's not really going to help the uh the whole controversy around ea with icons but um some good ones to be fair. You've got uh, Michael Balak, which I actually wouldn't mind getting. Might actually try and work towards him. It's only 50 days, really? It's a bit harsh. 50 days. You've got uh, Rui Costa, Prime Icon Moments, who he looks like he's got a good card as well. You know, shot power, long shots, geez, passing's good, dribbling's good, strength's good. He's got a good card. And then Prime Icon Moments, Schmeichel, who uh, I imagine is probably going to be the cheapest, but. Um, yeah, wow. I mean, look at that card. Besides agility and balance, he's got a sensational card. 83, 85, 86, 87, and an 88. Yeah, that's going to cost uh, a good million and thereabouts. Rui Costa, bronze, silver, obviously, 80, 82, 84, 86, and 86. So it's not terrible priced, in fairness. He's a good, you know, he's a good high-end cam icon but he's obviously not that desirable hence why he's cheaper and uh, obviously that's why balak is uh is a lot more and he's got every stat over 80 nearly over 90 as well but uh prime icon moment schmeichel bronze silver 80 rated 84 85 85 so 285s and 84 so that's not awful that's not awful priced not awfully priced for uh, a prime Icon moments goalkeeper. The thing about it is, even though though he's a plus one since his 92, um, he's actually had quite a quite a good boost. If you check it out on like Footbin or anything, the, the you know it's quite a massive boost compared to their prime to their prime moments. So um, yeah, even though he's a plus one, it's it's probably it's probably quite fair. That's fine. We'll submit that squad. So we get uh, 283 double upgrade to uh, end off this episode. I believe that's the only SBC that you actually released today, which is a bit, it's a bit sad. It's a bit sad, not gonna lie. A bit sad we get one, you know, SBC we've had many times over. But we did get some new icons, I guess, which is quite nice. Balak, obviously, being the most desirable, but obviously the most expensive. 
Rui Costa looks okay, but very middle middle range, and then obviously a goalkeeper, which does anybody actually really care about? I mean, like, is his 93 really going to be that much better than his 92? Who knows? For this, hopefully we get at least an 85 Belgium centre forward. Yo, Dries Mertens. It's a shame he's uh, still not in packs of his uh, what if, but we get an 85, which isn't bad. And Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Um, guess you can't complain. An 82 rated squad for an 85 and 83. It's not awful, I guess. It's not awful. But we are going to end the episode there this time. So... But yeah, so there we go. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. If you want to see more of this content, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. Um, but yeah, I suppose with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time.